So the uh, flying device here is a hotspot um, shrimp for mullet and it has a fluorescent red hotspot on it here. It's been working really, really well for us for the last three weeks. Um, tick lips particularly seem to like it. Golden greys are taking it, that bass on it. Um, fairly simple to tie, not a lot of materials. Um, I've added these feelers to it just to cover the crow fumes, but um, you know, our mud shrimp is are known, but you don't have to have them. So, uh, yeah. Um, so really, you know, the basics of it are some white thread, some fluorescent red thread, some eyes. These are easy shrimp eyes in black. You could use small. I used medium on this. It's a size 10. Um, I like the eyes to be a bit big as a, as a sort of a, a trigger point as well. And some um, SLF prism dub in ice blue, which when it gets wet, gives a sort of a blue shine. And again, outside of red, the other color that mullet really get drawn to is, is blue. So um, I don't rib these, you, you could rib them. I don't rib them. Um, I don't put any shell back on them. I just coat them with some UV resin to, to form the back there. And uh, as I say, it's one definitely to have in your box. Okay, so what I have in the vice here is the size 10 uh, buzzer hook. Uh, this one is a fulling mill, a uh, fairly heavy one. And um, it's in black nickel. No, I not, couldn't say scientifically, but it seems to me that the black nickel hooks are lasting a little bit longer in the salt than the, the bronze hooks. So maybe whatever coating on the nickel is helping protect them or that, I don't know. But I'm favoring these over the bronze hooks for the salt water patterns. Um, other than that, something like the Arix Curve cameras in a small size would be nice um, for this pattern. But I do find them difficult enough to source in, in Ireland. Uh, so we're going with this. And they've been working fine, so just to touch, touch a, adjust the tension on this bobbin for a second. So I just started with some white thread, so it's a white 8 0. Now it's, 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 it's kind of a UV white, but I'm not sure that matters with the white, to be honest. So it's going to run that down and just start to come around the bend of the hook a little bit. Okay, then it's going to take. Wherever I put it, it's a strand of white flexi floss. Okay, it's a fairly thin one. And it's going to catch that in here. Okay, and trap it down. Okay, now I'll cut it a bit longer than I'd probably need and I'll trim it off another little bit shorter. Um, I would normally go with about an inch, inch and a quarter for these. Okay. Um, and you know again it's a, a shrimp but could work for a crofium uh, which mullet feed on a lot crofium voltata is their known so um that's why the feelers are there you could have a tail as well but we don't particularly need a tail i don't think on this pattern at least i haven't been putting anything on it so what i'm doing now is i'm just creating a little ball of dubbing here Okay, they're sitting nice now. Um, so as I say, look, you're probably looking at just over an inch. They'll tend to curl a little bit when you fish them. They might curl out or that. It's fine. You could give them a touch of a marker or if you wanted to colour them as well. So, uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some eyes. So whatever sort of black eyes that, that you feel. I'm going to use easy shrimp eyes. Now I'm using the the black in medium, um, but you could burn some mono. Uh, you could probably use the small, certainly if you're going in a smaller hook, but I want these eyes to stick out or stand out. Um, it's been working, so I'm not going to change something that's been working. I'm basically sitting them on top of that, that ball of dubbing for the moment and just trap down. So 
very easy to tie in. And I've been trying them on this pattern and they've been working fine. I picked them up at the Irish Spring Angling Fair from our Dare Spring stand. So I'm just going to get another pinch of dubbing. I don't want this on too heavy. So really the idea of this piece of dubbing here now is it's just going to split these eyes. I want to push them out a little bit to the side. I don't want them stuck together. So just come in either side of them with the dubbing there just to separate them. So you can see now they're, they're separated out. And I can trim off the end of this. I don't want going too far. So about there because that'll help with the taper, which is good. So I'm going to add another small bit of the dubbing, which is an SLF prism dubbing in, um, is it pearl or ice pearl? Ice pearl. Just to double check. Okay, this, you can use a slightly different shade, um, a sandy type color or uh, a very, very pale olive, just to match the bottom where you're fishing, which is generally going to match the color of the, of the shrimp. We don't want to use dark colors on this pattern. Okay, we want translucent colors, you'll, you'll see later on why that is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a wig finish in. Okay. You can have a rib in this if you want to. Um, I don't think they're necessary but you could use a silver wire or a mono rib. Um, I generally don't think it's necessary on the pattern. Um, and I haven't been putting it on this one and it hasn't made a difference and I haven't been putting any shell back on it so very small amount of materials so next thing you want is some fluorescent red pine thread okay I'm just going to catch that in here and basically I'm going to make a hot spot with it okay don't need this to be built up too high I just want it as a segment here then I'm going to get another bit of my ice pearl dubbing and I'm just going to dub it on over it using this fluorescent thread and I'm hoping when I have this fly tied you can see the effect okay so once I have that done I'm going to give it two turns and get my wick finisher I'm going to finish off that that hot spot now if you know a bit about mullet you know that they particularly like bright red in the flies okay so what I'm going to do is just going to add back in my 8 or white thread like so and then I'm going to complete dubbing the rest of the fly Okay, and again, try and keep a little bit of a taper, so a bit, a little bit heavier here, and then just a little bit less towards the the end of the hook here. Okay, now this thing will catch mullet, bass, all sorts of things. So that's pretty much the fly finished, and then. Get my wood finish tool again and just finish off the thread. And there you go. You can trim any bits on top that you don't want there. Then you get your Velcro brush and just Velcro down the waist from the top. Turn upside down now. So I'll be brushing up the waist this instance put one or two out there um, in that area so you can see now our hot spots are starting to show through okay that's all we need to know we can trim that those legs a little bit later you could use a curved scissors if you want I'm going to use a straight scissors I'm just going to come in and just sort of angle it down and around the barb of the hook Okay, 
or you could do this at the end, I'll just do it there now. Right. So what I'm going to do then is going to get some UV resin. I probably need two coats of this. It's not a really thin one, it's probably made. Now, you, again, you could use flex, I suppose, on this if you want as well. I'm just using normal resin and I'm just basically dabbing it on. Another little bit. That's it. And just dab it on. Now, let me get my torch and I'm going to set that. One strand there out of the way. Just check, it's not too bad. And I'm going to give it one more coat a little bit lighter this time and that ice blue will turn very ice blue when it's wet along the back with the resin and i don't really need any shell back or pearl shell back or anything like that on this then so that's the effect you're going to get that's going to show through in that nice red hotspot. Um, very, very effective. Very, very simple flight to tie. Um, very few materials. It's really doing the business for the last while. So, one, if you're going to have a crack at the mullet, one you really need to have in your box.